piece is truly empowering everyone. How is everyone out there? I am stricken by a case of ah. Uh, for the simple fact that this world is stricken by many cases of illnesses, bodily illnesses, where our bodily organs are speaking to us on several different levels of cleanliness, expectations, and evolution. As we transcend time and distance and step into a further space of elevation, the old aspects of ourselves are in a space of dying off to be done away with, to put us in a position to be better, to listen to better music, to think more positive, to raise our frequency in such a way where we will become one with nature. We will walk one with the universe and the elements thereof. There are many trials that are trying people in this hour, and I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, Think it not strange the fiery trials that are to try you. Anytime I would hear that, I knew that there was a very major test that was coming in that I was going to have to surrender to or be in a submissive place to know that every single thing that comes in as a challenge is only a test and a mere opportunity to prove my greatness. So here I am in the leveling of things. Here I am in the space of knowing that I walk on with God. I see so many people freaked out about their illnesses, even if it's a basic sneeze or a basic cough or a basic rash or a basic back pain, everyone is freaked out by the COV idea. Running down to get the JAB in an effort to try to save their lives. The Bible says that he who seeks to find their life will surely lose it, and he who seeks to lose their life will surely find it. This is the hour where I know that there are many angels that are surrounding us and we are surrounded by divine beings. But at the same time, we must walk in the knowing that even Yeshua said that there will be those that will come that will do greater works than these, that will do greater works than me. And my Father in heaven has given us the power to lay hands on ourselves. So it's interesting because many people will be very upset with me saying why I depend on, you know, governmental structures to help sustain you in this hour when in essence it if you need that to fall back on but not from a space to depend on it to where you will hardly have to live on that and that alone to where you have become subservient to it because you have given your life to such submissiveness so now we're in a place right now to where we all truly have to stand on our faith and our faith is in a place of knowing this and this space of knowing this is knowing that he who the sun set free is free indeed. Knowing that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And knowing that we're backed by the powers of the kingdom of heaven. And no matter what it looks like, it's not as bad as we perceive it in our minds to be if we know that we have the power to lay hands on ourselves and to heal ourselves. For truly a thousand will fall at our side and ten thousand truly at our right hand, but none will come near our dwelling. But people won't even walk in the knowing that they can heal themselves because they become so, so comfortable to running to the doctor to have someone else tell them the frequency of their body. Your body's a pendulum. Your body will tell you the frequency of itself. It will show you the different pains, not for you to take pharmaceutical medicines to cover them up, but it will show you the pain so therefore you can have trigger points. You will know those specific lessons, and usually those specific lessons are dealing with astrological signs of the body. And each specific body part is dealing with a specific sign of some type of karma or something that you may have to map out with someone that you have an ought with. Or something that you have to clear up. Even the three wise men knew to look into the stars and to watch the stars, but also know that the body is dealing with the elements of the stars thereof because you are the star. The world has seemed to fall and pray to numbness of just dumbness. It's like no one wants to look further into the metaphysical matter of the heart of things, but yet be quick to run to someone else to give them affirmations regarding what it is that's dealing with their own bodily system. And then even in a place where you're going to someone regarding your own personal affirmations dealing with your life, you must be even careful there because many people in this hour have affirmations that are contrary 
to your path, no matter how contrary to your highest good. But if you walk in the knowing that you have the powers that are backed by the kingdom of heaven, it don't matter. Because whatever you see, you are walking in this knowing that a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but none will come near your dweller. Mother Gaia, or Sean, or Earth, as many will call it, is going through a deep cleansing. And the cleansing that is happening in this hour is a cleansing also of the state of mind. So many people have been so mixed and mingled in such darkness and depthness and darkness for so long that you really have to be mindful of the company that you keep. Because that specific company that you keep can also pull you into a world of negativity, can pull you into a world of fear, can pull you into a world of doubt. But you must stand in the knowings and the powers that's within you because I'm telling you, in this hour, only the strong will survive. And whatever it is that you fear, you're gonna draw it to you. So if you fear catching this specific, whatever this is, you're gonna catch something with it. Some type of symptom, some type of illness. Many of you could just be host to give it to those around you. But it's, as I stated earlier, don't be so busy trying to get people to come into your world, come into your circle, assuring them that they'll be safe with you. How do you know that you'll be safe with them? How do you know that once they depend on you so much to keep them safe from whatever it is that they're running from, how do you know that they won't turn on you? How do you know that they won't run from you when you're sick and leave you laying there sick or dying or ill because they're afraid of getting whatever it is that you have. This is why it's important to truly be in love in this hour. Because when you're truly in love, you can lose a limb, you can lose an eye, you can have your whole body with a flesh-eating virus all over your entire body, your limbs, everything. And the person that is for you is going to love you no matter what, even if they got to take a food tray and push it through the door at you, they are not going to leave you. They're going to be by your side. And most importantly, they're going to know, they're going to stand on the powers of knowing that God ain't going to let nothing happen to you because your walk is too dedicated, your walk is too faithful. And from what I'm knowing in this hour is that God went through a series where there are specific people in your life and specific people in the lives of others that were around you that were preventing you two from coming together to do the works of God or you and people that are around you from coming together to do kingdom work. So God had to remove specific people out the way. And just because he had to remove those specific people out the way and many of them he took home or many of them he just had them relocate to another state or world. Because of that, whatever that experience was with them, it does not mean that their experience is gonna be repeated the same. What it means is that now you're in kingdom position to do kingdom work. And even though there's trials and errors in this, you must not be caught up in the fear of no thing. You must walk on the knowledge and the knowledge of God Almighty. We must know that we are backed by the powers of the kingdom of heaven. And we must know that if God is before us, he can be against us. We must also know that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. We must also know that a thousand will fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but none will come near our dwelling. And we must walk in the power and the anointing and the knowing that we are the great, great, great grand descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we must most importantly walk in the knowing that God Almighty, our Father, still reigns on the throne. We begin tonight.